Hello everybody, Yelsa Farmer here and welcome back to my channel. So this video is about 10 tips for beginners at Farmer Simulator 19. Now you may ask why I am doing this. I've just played it one year barely myself, but you know, why not? I guess there's a whole lot of new players out there, so these are at least my tips. 10 tips for starting up with the game. So first tip is when you start a career I recommend you to start on new farmer. So when you go in here you open a new save game. Uh, the reason for starting on new farmer is that then you get a decent amount of start money, you get uh, some starting fields that you can work on. You get equipment and tools, sleep triggers and all that. Whilst if you start on farm manager, you start with 1.250 mil, 1,250,000, but you don't start with any equipment. You don't have any fields, you don't have any vehicles, tractors, anything. Uh, farm manager I would say is more for experienced players so I would advise you to stay away from that and also start from scratch. Uh, that's similar to farm manager but start from scratch you have zero money, you have nothing. So I re recommend you to start on new farmer and when you start the game you only have two maps Ravenport and Felsbrunn. I recommend you to start on Ravenport. And uh, now I have a whole lot of mods, but I'm gonna deselect every everybody. I think let's see, deselect like so, and we'll start the game. So that's tip number one. So you also saw that you can get help in the beginning with a short tutorial which is showing you the other, well, all the aspects basically. Tip number two is settings. Uh, if you press option button you will get into a whole lot of menus. It could maybe look a little bit over the top but there are some settings which I prefer at least in the beginning when you start the game and that's under game settings uh, here you can choose the time scale from real time just like a normal f clock so to speak or you can speed it up all the way up to 120 then you see on the top right corner the clock is going really fast that's if you want to speed up time uh, econom economic mm -hmm. difficulty um, I recommend you to keep it on easy in the beginning and you can go up to normal and hard and what that actually is doing it's uh, changing for instance the price that you get for different uh, crops at the selling points so if you have it on hard you will not get 1149 for wheat let's check out we can just test it we can take this on hard and then we can check the wheat again at the top sell point then you get 383 so if you want to make a little bit money in the beginning I advise you to put this on easy traffic you can have on uh, and then we move over to um, helper you can hire helpers to help you out and I advise you to take off this these four here. Now you see if you are using helper uh, during seeding then the helper will buy your seed for you but it's much more expensive so I advise you to take the fuel, the seed, fertilizer off, slurry off and manure. So if you're spreading manure that's extremely expensive if you have this on buy. So take this off uh, other things I would also advise you to 
take the crop destruction off in the beginning because you're gonna drive on your fields and you're gonna just de destroy your crops so in the beginning uh, I would advise you to take this, this off and also plowing lime that's up to you if you want to do liming or not also weeds you can turn it off or on and then we go to auto save now if you have this is a auto save that will save your game every 15 minutes you can change that to whatever you want I'm playing now with off because now I know that I can manually go in and save the game whenever I want but in the beginning I recommend you to have this on 15 minutes uh, other settings you can have the help window on or off that's actually the help window on the top left corner I recommend you to have that on uh, you can change what currency you want to play with field info is always okay to have on then you can have radio on or off that's not that important uh, and these ones you well I recommend you don't fiddle around with too much of these uh, the sensitivity on the different tools uh, and also we have a help section which give you a whole lot of good help in the beginning for instance if for harvesting you get some tip also here and you get some advanced knowledge all the way down here so I recommend you to glance also through these ones so that's tip number two settings tip number three is contracts now there are contracts that you can help out other farmers if you go to this tab you can see that some of the your neighbor farmers they need some help so for instance this one uh, Toby Law he wants some help with harvesting field number 7 and you get 12,283 to do that uh, you can choose if you want to use his equipment that you see on the bottom there or you can use your own equipment uh, you better off uh, check out what kind of field it is first let's see if we go all the way here it's field number seven and this is a pretty big uh, field and with the starting equipment you usually have it could be uh, really time consuming to do so in the beginning I would advise you to just use their equipment it will drop down on your contract price if you see on the bottom line uh, the contract price will be reduced by 1935 but anyway you could also get some extra crops on this one um, when you usually for harvesting contract like that when you have harvested maybe 80 to 90 percent and deliver it to the sell point the remaining crops is actually yours so you can either sell it at the highest price find a sell point here which have the highest price for it or you can just keep it to yourself and put it in your silos so that's tip number three so tip number four is in the beginning stick to the basic crops if you go into the menu and the second tab you can see all the different crops that you can seed and harvest and to the left I'm just gonna start with the first one and then go to the right you have wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, sugar cane, eggs, wool and milk uh, and here you also have all the grass work, grass, hay and straw uh, so I would recommend you to stick with wheat, barley, oat, canola and soybeans because they do not uh, require any special equipment to do the seeding or the harvesting you can do mostly by the 
normal header that you have and usually with the in-game or the start equipment to find your start equipment you just press the big tab in your on your controller then you get into the shop and then you press triangle to go into garage and here you can see all the equipment that you start with So there we go, and yeah, stick with the basic crop in the beginning. That's tip number four. Tip number five, it's about animals. Now in Farming Simulator 19 there are several different animals that you can breed and feed and get byproducts, so to speak, milk and eggs and all that. In the beginning don't worry that much about animals because they are requiring some work and some food and products that you need to give them if you go in here into the placeables you have a um, menu called animal pens and you have chickens, cows, horse, pigs, uh, sheep uh, yeah so these are the normal animal pens you can start with if you want to start with animals straight away uh, the easiest animals I found out to start with is chickens because they only require wheat and usually when you start on a map like this you have some wheat in your silo so if we go here again into the, that menu you can see on the top silo own token capacity you see you have 8347 liters of wheat so you could start with uh, chickens I can show you how to place it so let's just take the smallest chicken coop and you need uh, to own the land that you're placing on it so don't place it over your fields I found an area here I think this is just to show you and as you see the price for this was 20,000 but if you're placing it on the ground that's a little bit uneven you can see the price on the top left corner is uh, is changing as you are changing the chicken coop so if for example I want to place it here you see the price is 32,000 because it's very uneven ground so if we place it here it's 20,600 bam there we go now we have chickens you just go to the door here press L1 and you can buy some chickens and egg boxes will appear here there are a lot of mods that's out now that you can collect the egg boxes and you put in your wheat here so if you want to start with animals chickens is probably the easiest one to start with so tip number six is all about mods as you can see on the main menu here we have a setting called mods so if you click on that you will get a whole lot of different tools equipment and vehicles which are modded ones uh, I recommend you when you start the mod uh, uh, mod settings like this it's always good to press L3 press that twice because now it's only the top mods that's showing so press L1 no L3 press that once and then press L3 once again then you will get all the mods showing up so if for example you're not happy with all the tractors that's in the game shop you can go you know for instance into medium tractors and you see a tractor that you like for instance this one Massey Ferguson 6600 you go into this one you can see it's 15.9 megabyte you press L and then it's downloaded to your game but then to activate it you need to go in here again into career and into your save game and then 
Uh, I have a lot of mods, but let's go down to M and find your Massey. Do, do, do. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, the reason why I didn't find it uh, is because you have to wait a minute to let it download uh, completely. So if you go in here again and you tab over with L1 and R1 to the installed ones, then you need to go just to make sure that the Massey Ferguson 6600 is installed so once that's finished then you can go in to your uh, save game like so and then you can go down this is by alphabetic so let's go down to M there we go there's the Massey Ferguson 6600 and then you can just press square so now this is the only mod that I'm gonna bring in with me and then just start up the game. So when you have started up the game you can find this modded Massey Ferguson if you go into vehicles, go into medium tractors and you scroll all the way in onto the right and there you see it, the Massey Ferguson 6600 and you can see under the price that it says mod so this is a modded one usually they have maybe some extra configurations you can change the engine setup so there we go there is where your modded things will appear next tip is slot count tip number seven slot count now as we are playing on console, PS4 or Xbox we are limited to amount of slots I'm not gonna go too deep into slots but if you go into the vehicles here for instance again on medium tractors you can see on the top there we have now utilized 616 slots out of 1299 so 1299 is the maximum that you can use so for instance on this new tractor the Massey Ferguson if you see on the bottom side there you can see all these small squares it says minus 15 that means that if you buy this this will take uh, 15 slots so it will increase the 616 to 631 uh, so just be aware of that there are some differences especially I'm not gonna uh, <laughs> prank down on one specific uh, brand here but just be aware that for instance John Deere equipment they are really nice and really detailed but they are having a higher slot count than usually the other items that we have you can see for instance here the this Massey Ferguson has 15 slots requirement whilst the John Deere tractor is 41 and we can look on other things like for instance uh, pa -pa -pa, let's see cultivators now I don't think we have any John Deere let's go into harvesters for instance you can see here this are the medium harvesters this one is 12 slots 202,000 to buy this one is more or less the same range with capacity but this one is 33 slots whilst this is 12 and also for the big ones these are the biggest one in game you see the new holland is 12 slots whilst the case one is double that 23 whilst the John Deere is 47 so just bear in mind also that always think about slots when you're playing on console so yeah that was tip number seven slot count tip number eight is probably really basic but I have run into some problems there at least in the beginning and that's all about trailer capacity and what they can hold 
if you go into trailers in tools you can see you have a whole lot of trailers here yeah uh, sorry uh, you have a whole lot of trailers here with different capacity on how much they will hold and so on and you can see on the bottom part that it will hold like wheat barley old canola uh, all your grass work these kind of trailers will hold everything so to speak but if you go a little bit further like here for example the Schoeter Micro 720 this one will only hold your grass work sugarcane TMR and so on so just bear in mind when you're scrolling past these trailers you have to bear in mind what they can actually hold or not like these two are completely different this one will hold everything whilst this red and white trailer will only hold your grass work and sugarcane so yeah and also yeah so that, that's uh, just a tip from experience that I have bought some trailers and once you get to load it it won't hold the actual type of crop that you're trying to <laughs> get into it the one that you start with the Stroutman this will hold everything and this one you can also uh, configure it uh, so if you go in here this is the one that you have with 8000 liter capacity you can bring it over to the uh, shop and you can configure it up to 12,000 or if you want to use it as a flatbed you can take it all the way down to like this so that's uh, trailer capacity so tip number nine is all about leasing equipment so here I am at the shop you have different signs here this is just for your economy to check your money this is the shop trigger and another trigger which is important if you want to fix or configure your vehicles you just pull your vehicle or trailer or whatever inside those markers and you enter it here by L3 and then you can start to fix or configure your vehicles now leasing equipment uh, that's really good to do in the beginning if you want to try out some equipment or tractors let's go ahead again with the medium tractor the Massey Ferguson so this is quite expensive you don't have the money to buy it it's 106,000 to buy but if you look on on uh, the bottom right corner you see the total price to buy it but you can also lease it for 5400 and you just have to bear in mind there is a uh, operating cost per hour 2200 so if you're using it a whole lot that price uh, will increase as long as you have let's just go ahead and lease it square do you want to lease it for 5000 yeah so now it should appear here at the shop so as long as you don't use it you know overnight or so you, you don't get charged for having it but as soon as you get in it and you're driving it starting it so to speak uh, that operating cost will go up every hour but it's a good thing you know if you want to lease a bigger harvester for example these big boys here they are expensive they are 20,000 to lease but it's it's a good uh, good way of testing equipment bigger or better equipment that you have so that's tip number nine leasing equipment tip number 10 the last tip is a little bit depending on the map but especially here on Ravenport there are a lot of these buildings on your farm which you cannot enter and they are just for decorations and this one 
on this map you can sell them and make money off of them so if you go into your own items you scroll all the way over and here you see all these old barn farm storage these ones you can sell so if for example this one sell it okay and you also get not much but you get some slot if you go for this one for example the farm stable it will give you forty thousand uh, dollar and it will also give you plus one slot so let's go ahead just sell all the decoration buildings just be a little bit careful don't sell your farmhouse if you want to have the ability to sleep overnight you need your farmhouse so now we have sold all the decorations you cleared out let's see here you cleared out some areas you can place animal pens or whatever and you got a hundred and thirty thousand dollar more on your account so that's tip number 10 sell decorations so I think that was it for this top 10 beginner tip on farming simulator <laughs> farming simulator 19 at least my tips there are a whole lot of other tips of course and this is for you guys who just started the game so if you want to have any more tips please leave a comment if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to my channel. And lastly, I'm just going to show you how you can go to sleep. If you're running it like this without any seasons, you have to wait, I think it is, until uh, 1900 in the evening. You just go in the house and press L3. Now you see I'm not tired, so I cannot sleep. But if you wait until 1900 in the evening, you can set how long you want to sleep. So you don't have to wait all the way through the night. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching and bye bye.